Right here is a 1994 Corvette, also known as a C4. So today I'm going to show you all the cons before you end up buying a Corvette or if you already have one. Well, what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. I know, primarily a Mustang channel, as you guys remember, but remember, I've ex I'm expanding the channel to more than just Mustangs. I did start off with just a Mustang, but today, our video is gonna be about the Corvette. So, as I just said uh, a minute ago, we are gonna be talking about the pros and cons of the C4 Corvette. So either if you're just buying a Corvette, or if you already bought one, either way, this is what you can look out for now, before buying, or, in the near future. These cars have a handful of problems and they are not major ones neither. So the problems I've had is, the one thing is the headlight motors. So it's not a problem all the time. I actually greased the motors, the gears, and they work fine, but sometimes this one will get stuck halfway up and start flopping around. But usually I just turn the knob back on and off and it fixes itself. But most of the time, for a lot of people, that issue stays and the motors won't even move at all. And the reason is, there's gears and they are plastic and they strip over time. So the best way to prevent your headlight motor from going out, or if it does go out, is to get copper or brass gears that will never break again, that will go up smooth. Yes, you can buy all new motors, it'd be a little bit more expensive, but it's also cheaper just to buy the gears and replace them yourself and the headlight motors. Another issue is the window seals. Yes, it's an old car, it's typical for any old car, but the window seals are definitely shot on this car. Like on this side, it's not so bad, it's cracked up right here. And also the roof, the uh, target top leaks a little bit, but these seals really don't look like they're that bad, uh, besides being pinched. It looks like the top was put on improperly at one time and it just messed up the seals. But yeah, even the seals back here are messed up. So yeah, that's one other problem I've had with this car is the seals and water leaking. The only time those seals fail is when I'm washing the car and this water just splashes right up on in there. That's the only issue, but yeah, you can go ahead and get like uh, new uh, seals on Eckler's Corvette. Another thing is if you're rocking this year with the saw blade wheels, there's one thing that these things do age is the clear coat on the wheels. I know they are dirty, but you can see the clear coat is shot. And you can go and also go on Eckler's Corvette and get clear coat stripping and re-clear coat them or just keep them buffed. But yeah, the clear coat on these are shot. But I do plan on going aftermarket wheels. Uh, so these saw blades are going to be a thing in the past on this car. But yeah, that is one problem that bugs the living hell out of me is the wheels. Like, you guys know I'm OCD with my cars and like this side is not as bad, but you can see where it's starting to. But yeah, that's the one thing that bothers me. So new wheels are going to be coming. It's go they're going to be black wheels. So give me some wheel suggestions. Going to the inside, of course, there's some wear and tear on the inside, like the little rip in the seat. I think the seat can be fixed, honestly, because it's not, it's like basically right on the stitch that could probably be fixed. But one thing is, is also the steering wheel. So under the steering column, there's a couple pieces that tend to break, and mine's not bad yet, but like, you can see it's starting to, because the wheel's not supposed to move like this. And I don't know why it causes them to break, I don't know if it's just cheap hardware, but you can go online and buy like the repair kit and fix it yourself pretty easily, but it's just, it's just a pain in the ass that some, that's something that actually happens. I know some people, I never really had issues, uh, like the tape player doesn't really work like it used to. I have, I use this for now until I get a Bluetooth radio. Yes, I'm putting a Bluetooth touchscreen radio in this thing. I know all the Corvette members are going to be upset about it, but I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, the tape player has its issues. The, uh, the LCD when it's lit up uh, is like half like lit. Um, typical issues for like an old 90s car. All the air works fine except for this um, open air vent or a fresh air vent gets stuck sometimes you have to free it up. I don't know why it does that but sometimes that doesn't work but all you have to do is free it up and it works just fine. Another issue that I've heard of which I've never had this problem but is the uh, LCD uh, display. Sometimes they are known for like just going blank. Like they'll still be lit, but like you can't see the numbers. That's an easy fix. You can go online and buy like a kit. I don't think it's super expensive. Um, but yeah, that's one common issue they want to look out for also. And every Corvette owner knows about the unholy OptiSpark. Everybody hates them. They're like the one of the worst things that Chevrolet could ever came up with. 
But the OptiSpark is basically replaces the distributor and it's supposed to be like a new modern technology back then. It didn't work out the way they wanted it to. One, uh, engineers are great. <laughs> they put the uh, water pump right above the OptiSpark. So the OptiSpark's main killer is moisture and water. And of course, when the water pump fails, it's gonna leak right onto the OptiSpark and kill the OptiSpark as well. This has left many C4 Corvette owners stranded. Yes, uh, be aware of that and Knock on wood, I've never had issues with the Audi Spark on this car. Yes, when the car got like wet in the rain, it bucked, which I'm pretty sure it's because the Audi Spark getting wet. Also, pro tip, uh, try to avoid the rain in these cars. Unless you have a brand new Audi Spark with a brand new seals on it and water pump. I mean, it should be all right in the rain. I drove this thing in the rain a couple times, and a couple times it did buck, and I think that was because the Audi Spark getting wet. But, um, other than that, uh, try to avoid Automatic car washes to where the water sprays up underneath the undercarriage because that sprays onto the object spark. The object spark is supposed to be water resistant, but after you know like 30 years, it's not going to be so water resistant like it was brand new. So it's going to get some water in it, and it's either going to run rough, or we're going to absolutely just kill it. Can be cheap to fix, but I do not recommend buying a cheap knockoff Opti Spark because I've heard of people buying cheap Opti Sparks and replace them two months later without them even getting wet. This is because they're absolutely junk. <laughs> So oh, yes, spend the money on a good OptiSpark or get the uh, kit that basically replaces it with something else. I forgot what it's called. Like I said, I don't have much knowledge on these cars yet, but I do know a few things, especially the OptiSpark. So yeah, the OptiSpark is one of the biggest cons on the C4 Corvette. So you guys, if there's any more cons that I missed, uh, please put them down in the comments. Uh, this is for uh, new Corvette owners, at least C4 owners. So they know what they're getting getting into and what they should look at when you're looking to buy one of these. Definitely if you're going to look at one of these, look over everything I just mentioned. And if anybody has any suggestions or comments, read those too. Please feel free to leave a comment on your opinions and all that stuff because I'm trying to help people out um, and yeah. I only buy against screwing a Corvette and these cars are fine. I'm not trying to push you away from buying them. These cars are totally worth it and so fun, especially with the tops off. I love this car to death. It's so fun. Even though it's bone stock right now, so fun. So hey guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.